Welcome, everybody. This is the Day Trader Genius Stock Auctions Daily Review for the 18th of March, 2019. I'm your host, Scott Patton. Joining us is Coach Rob. And we're here to show you that there are opportunities pretty much every day, Monday to Thursday, to make money trading stock options. So this is day trading. You get in, you get out, and you make your money. And we, we like to sort of say 10% in 10 minutes. It doesn't mean that you, you, know, you show up at uh, 10 a.m. and at 10.10. You've made your 10%. Uh, you know that's possible, but that's not likely. You're going to have to be looking for the right trade. When you get in the right trade, away you go. And the other thing about what we tend to tr to uh, train people on is one trade a day. Now we're going to show you two today, and oftentimes we'll show you three because we want to show you that at different times of the day, or if you miss the opportunity, there are other opportunities. But generally speaking. There's a lot of focus, a lot of attention, a lot of energy that goes into making the trades. We like to talk about you know, stress-free trading and everything else, but the fact of the matter is when you've got 1000 or 5000 or $10,000 uh, sitting on a stock option, uh, there's a lot of you know, mental energy and everything else going through to make sure that that doesn't go down, it goes up in value, and that takes a toll, which is why we tend to suggest that you only do one trade a day. And on some days you may, you know, cheat and do two, but that would be when you're sort of at the expert or master level. And uh, so we just wanted to, you know, when you're looking at these things, don't go, wow, like there was this 10% trade and that 15% trade and this 23% trade. I could have done that. The chances are not likely that you could have done that because first of all, you would have had to identify them. Secondly, there's a fatigue factor that comes in. And this is why we you know, really recommend you do one trade, you make it 10%, 15%, wonderful. And over a long term, right, which would be months and years as opposed to days, your capital is going to grow and you don't need to do more trades to make more money. You just need to do more contracts per trade to make more money. And this is all part of the strategy that you learn when you're working with our coaches and in our training. Okay, we have a 10-day free trial to get you started. So it's not the live version, it's the replay. You're able to learn how the software works, how the program works. You're able to meet your coach and decide in those 10 days if this is something that's for you or not. And then you can join our membership program. And we're here to give you a lot of support. There's lots of other traders as well that you're going to be able to meet and see what they do and talk about your trades and all these sort of things. We've got this wonderful community that's very supportive. So with that whole preamble, uh, Rob, were we able to make any money today? Yes, sir, we were. And yeah, that's, that's a really good lead in because that's what, what's, what's that one trade per day advice or not advice, but you know, the, the, the standard that we teach, what's that driven by risk? Because you, can, you can't control the market. You can only go off the conditions that are there. So wait for the conditions to show you an obvious trend. And then why limit it to one? Well. The second one, you know, third and subsequent trades can be affected by your first trade. If you lost, maybe you're going to revenge trade. If you gained, then you might become a victim of your own success. And that's introducing more risk. So we just shoot for one, one shot, one kill, like they used to say in the Marine Corps. Uh, you know, I, was, I was in the Marines and we were notoriously cheap. We didn't have a big budget, so <laughs> uh, we couldn't afford that many. So you had to be economical. And sometimes, just, just to illustrate for, for folks out there who are interested in the program, if you sign up for the 10-day trial, this is our software. This is the main chart that, that you'll be using most of the time. And you'll have access to these charts so you can test out like this. But a lot of days, we'll zoom to the end of the market day and we'll say, hey, this is how it all turned out. But in this case, let's just start with Amazon. I, I, I handpicked Amazon. It has a nice green candle to start the day, but let's, let's see how it goes from opening bell until a tradable moment that just kind of fits a bunch of rules and jumps off the screen at you. And the way you navigate this is you have the chart, highlight it, and then just hit the forward arrow and you move forward one minute at a time. These are one minute candles and we're gonna move forward just a few minutes. We generally don't trade these first five minutes because overnight trading is settling in. You want, it's, it can be very volatile if you look at the main list. There's, there's some that are going green, some that are going strong red. 
eh, that usually 936 they're settled in. So that's a little coach's tip for you for the day. So wait for that 936 time frame and see what happens. Now you can see Amazon had started out nice, nice move in green. That means the price is moving up. And for us options day traders, this is a nice opportunity. But this our software has this risk zone that it populates. It's this tan shaded area and that's limited, it's bounded by these blue lines here. You don't want to trade within the risk zone. It's just a simple rule. There, there's obviously profits can be made in there, but it is very risky and you can get turned around and uh, have to pay that tuition a little bit too often. So stay out of that. But Amazon on this day had a nice strong move. We've already moved 38% in our uh, of, of its daily range, the dollar amount that that stock usually moves in the first couple of minutes. So it's streaking, but this trend is a little bit old. Even if it breaks out of the risk zone now, it might be a little bit older trend. So let's just watch the behavior of the stock. Okay, it hit some resistance. That's like a ceiling right around 1725. Touched it and it, it withdrew. It's called retracing. So the price tumbled back down to 1721. This Y point was instrumental in that, but that there's a lot of investors out there looking at 1725. So let's just see what Amazon does. We lost all of our good green indicators, this blue tint, the green background above the risk zone, but now it's starting another charge around resistance A and 1725. We're testing it again. Still doesn't have enough to break out of it. And if you look down, probably the reason it didn't peak through 1725 at this point is because we lost volume. These purple histograms are volume. You need that for good trends. These are all just the fundamentals that I'm showing you guys. You have to put them all together and test them over multitudes of repetitions to prove their, your rules effective. So it doesn't matter what system you use as long as it works. Use the system that works. And the only way to do that is to do your own logging. Make sure you log all of your practice reps and then you have a system that you can take to live market. So don't pay tuition. All right, moving forward just a couple more minutes. Let's see what happens. Okay, we got a little bit of volume back. And lo and behold, Scott, it's breaking above 1725, that previous Y point. And our, C, our close location value for the day is 97. That's almost 100%. So this is a really good entry time. A lot of rules are met. Let's buy a call. That's how we make money when, when the uh, price is rising on the underlying stock. And I'm going to bring up our replay, or I'm sorry, our buy close window. So now, it automatically. Well, I want to interrupt you just for a second because yeah. you said something really smart. You said rules. And we have a number of rules, and they're tested and everything else. We share them with you when you join us. And everybody's an individual. So when you look at the rules, you're going to massage, you know, first of all, you know, it's, it's like if you play baseball, right? The batter always stands at home base. He doesn't stand at first, you know, first base to swing the bat. So there are certain rules that that's just the way it is. But then you get into, you know, which pitch do you like to hit and which pitch do you hit? And there's always a home run, which pitch do you hit? And you always get, usually get the first base and all the rest of it. And so there's a massaging of the rules based on your own personality. So we, we give you kind of the fundamentals and then you work with your coach to figure out what works with your personality. And the programmers and I've had long conversations about this and they've convinced me they were right. And they said, these are the rules that you can make, but you've got to make your own rules because if, if we impose rules on you and you're a rebel, you will be constantly breaking the rules. So these have to be your rules. And what Rob is showing you is his rules, which uh, he's very successful trading with. And I would re recommend, you know, following those rules until you get really, really good. And then if you want to massage something based on your personality and you're consulting with your coach, then go ahead and do that. But I, you had talked about the rules and I think it's really important because they're set up because most of the time when these things happen, based on my rules and we program them into the software so that all of a sudden you've got, we call them filters and things that will pop up and say, oh, this fits some of my rules for the setup. Oh, this fits some of my rules or all of my rules for getting out of the trade. It makes it really easy as opposed to what would normally happen if you had no rules is, 
oh, there's a green candle, I'm gonna get in. And then of course it turns around right away and it's a red candle and you lose your, you know, you start losing your capital, which is what we don't wanna do. Number one rule is preserve your capital. But uh, so I just wanted to jump in with the, with the, with the, with the rules because you brought it up and we don't normally talk about it that much, but yeah. there are very specific rules that we follow and that we teach and then we massage because it has to fit with your personality and on a way you go. Okay. So, yeah. Thanks brother. No, that's, that's important context for, for everybody to understand. And, and these are just fundamental principles that I'm, I'm highlighting here. They're, they're what my rules are based off of, but even if I laid out all my rules for everybody who's watching this video, they, they probably couldn't get on them. You need to train it. You need to start recognizing it and see it for yourself. So you got to interact with the software and have fun with it. Do your testing, discover, explore, just take, you know, have a curious mindset. And, and that, that's what it is. It's mindset. So the rules alone uh, can't, can't do everything for you. You need a, a good, healthy trading mindset. So when you see something like this, when you see it popping off and your rules are met, it's just, it's not, you're not high, you're not low. You're just even keel to be like, I see you, buddy. And that's what we see with Amazon here. We enter it on the call. It automatically will, and this is for, you know, beginning traders and, and people who don't have familiarity with our system, but you're going to have to pay commissions on these trades. So this accounts, the system already accounts in replay for what you would roughly be paying in commissions. So you start at a minus 1%. And we'll just move forward one minute at a time and see how far Amazon goes. Stand by. Highlight this. All right. Right there, we got some higher highs. Nice looking, got a little doji action. And then Amazon is moving pretty far forward. Now, let me bring back our buy close window. We're sitting at 8%. And we got some volume back. It's a little bit older trend. This is, this is a potential exit point. But I want to see if it's going to hit 1730. That's my my profit planning area, and there it is. The underlying conditions carried it up to 1730. Now we're now we're with 1730 being the share price. We're in the options market. Now that's a definite volume spike, and we're approaching the 10 o'clock hour. Let's close with 14% and call it good. It, I know I know we always like to see what would happen next, and it would have continued up. And that's fine. We can leave that on the table. That's not worth the risk. Let's just take our single, to use your baseball analogy, move the runners over and move on for the day. And there's, you know, just for, for everybody who's not familiar with options trading, there's puts, or I'm sorry, there's calls to make money when it's going green like this with Amazon. And then there's puts to make money, to make a profit when your underlying stock is moving down. So I'm going to, I'm going to highlight Tesla here and my counterpart, Coach Jay, <laughs> likes to call Tesla the crazy uncle. I think it's more like a kindergartner. All my stocks are my children. So Tesla's that one kid who always just has, you know, snot running down his face, never pays attention. He's always throwing stuff at other kids. So usually Tesla's pretty annoying. However, when it comes to kickball class, the gym class, you know, Tesla's your star. So he's your, he can be your first pick. Uh, so sometimes it can be useful. Just you have to you have to you know look at it a little bit side eye. It's a little bit has a personality of its own. So let's fast forward just a little bit. We'll see. We can see Tesla try to go green to start the day, but it dipped below opening price. This pink line right here, which was about 276, and it's it's gone red pretty much ever since with some sideways green action. At this point right here, you see a very powerful trend starting. That's a uh, huge candle. I mean, a huge uh, volume spike. Big time volume coming in, absolutely. And the candle itself is, is also large and powerful. So it's the biggest candle in the day, probably ties this one right here. But like you said, big time volume to propel it. So here we are. It is 1023. Let's get into Tesla with a put. This is how we profit off of uh, stocks moving downward, sinking in price. Move forward one minute at a time. We're getting some some resistance or some support around SB line right there, which is 268.53. It's testing, it's testing, it's touching, and it's breaking. Now, we're sitting at 12%. It is 10.28. I would be out right here because we got that volume spike. 
that's just the way I would roll with it. 12% is a nice, nice clean. That's probably a double down the line. Yeah. And it would have gone a little bit further, but that why if you weren't out by 1028 with that volume spike, you would have been out at the time window, 1030, and that Y point together. But there we go. We got two trades on a not so great day, uh, all in all. But we can take a look at our money bag <coughs> trade log. Stand by, let me bring that up, Scott. And in nine minutes, we got 14% on Amazon. And five minutes, 12.3% on Tesla. That's a pretty good day. <clears throat> yeah. Well done. Can't argue with that. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Rob. Appreciate you uh, sharing with everybody. And uh, this has been the Day Trader Genius uh, Daily Review for March 18th, 2019. The year is flying by. I can't believe you know we're into March already. So don't uh, miss out on opportunities that the rest of the year is going to hold for you. We have a 10-day free trial. The description has uh, all the details, and we look forward to working with you. Thanks for joining us, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.